Good morning. Good morning. You tired? Mm-hmm. What time is it? I don't know. It's like six, seven is all. What are you doing this morning? I'm gonna go look at a boat. Where at? Some peninsula thing in Canada that's America. You can't make me laugh, I'll shake the camera. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but I know we have to go to like Hasta La Vista to <laughs> the peninsula that's Belfast. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Do you remember what they're called? We're going to Point Roberts. And we're going to fly to Port Roberts from where? S. Anacorda. Anacortis. You might have actually got it right. I think it's Anacortis. <laughs> we're taking a flight into Point Roberts. <coughs> Long day. Uh -huh. After an eight hour drive, we arrived to our charter and learned that the flight was delayed. Um, our flight got delayed. How did you react? Very poorly. <laughs> but I apologized for it, which doesn't make it okay, but the lady was really nice. <laughs> she accepted your apology? She understood that getting up at 5 a.m. and having your flight delayed an hour can be... I thought our flight was at 1.15. Uh, it is. I guess it's only a half hour. <laughs> Bad math. We have another 45 minutes. Tell our flight out to Point Roberts to go look at our boat for this beautiful experiment. And I'm tired. Why don't you tell everybody what's happening? <laughs> We're waiting. Why are we waiting? Because we need it to wait for our plane so we can fly to Point Break. No, not Point Break. Yeah. Having a hard time buckling your seatbelt there? <laughs> Try again. How can you guys pull brakes on each other and do like... I found the view from the tiny Cessna window to be completely magical. The pine-covered islands were hidden beneath the clouds. It was a world that was, it was new to our eyes. dinner that Sean has set up for us to have while sailing on a small 27-foot boat. 
The captain was just simply charismatic. And by the end of the night, he had convinced us that we should stop hunting for houses, buy a boat, and live on that. Admittedly, it really wasn't that hard of a sale. That night, we got home and we searched the web and found her. We found a 34-foot Catalina in the right price range. It was moored on a peninsula that it's only accessible through Canada or by Cessna. How you doing there, babe? Good. What's your heading? 165 degrees that way. <laughs> That's the only way 165 degrees can be. <laughs> We couldn't have been more green, so to speak. We had no sailing experience, and yet we were about to embark on this adventure to take the boat from Point Robert, the furthest point of Washington, sail it down the Pacific, cross the bar, and drive it to Portland. I should say, sail it to Portland, excuse me. So, hello. Um, I am getting ready to cook dinner, so I figured I'd show you guys the cabin. There's the nav station, and there's my kitchen. So I'm going to be cooking up some dinner on the boat. Stay tuned next week as we travel through the Strait of Juan de Fuca, cross the bar, and land in Astoria. Please share and like these videos. It does help us a lot. And thank you for watching.